It's hard to believe 15 years have gone by in the overworld. Sorry to talk your ear off about everything, but so much has happened in what seems like so little time. Do you think it will be longer before I make it out of the Irene dimension? That depends. Are you real, or are you just a memory in my dream? I feel real, uh, I guess. After our last encounter, I went back to the same spot I was in. In front of Zane, our swords in hand. Next thing I know, everything is going white again, and now I'm here with you. What do you think is causing this? I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if you're real too. Or maybe I'm just having flash forwards to things I should have done. I feel like I should have taken the time to know you more as a person, rather than just protecting you as my lord. In a way, I'm a little jealous of Lawrence. He was able to befriend you and make you laugh. Like that one time in the guard tower where you two were fighting over the table. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I wish I had the chance to create fond memories like that with you. I wasn't sure how to approach you, so I just acted as your god. Well, we've had some fond memories together. Like, the time we played with Levin and Malachi in the treehouse. I mean fond memories of us... alone. Uh, hey, hey! Don't be like that! We're alone now, aren't we? Yes, but my fear is that this is all a dream. You say you can only come here when you're asleep in the overworld. Even then, do you come here every time you sleep? Garth, just enjoy this time. If it be a dream or not, our minds are allowing us to have this time together. So, I propose this. From now on, we don't talk about what's happened in the past. When I come here, if ever again, I'll tell you about what's been going on, and we'll just talk about things like that. Mm, all right? <laughs> Sounds like a plan. So, what do you want to know about? Uh, well, uh, was he good looking? Huh? Who? The stranger you talked about. What was his name again? Uh, Aaron? Huh? Why are you asking me a question like that? <laughs> I'm just curious. Ugh, fine. He was very handsome. More so than he me. was. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> no fair! I wasn't done with what I was trying to say! I'm not answering that! I just wanted to see your reaction. You look cute, flustered. You jerk! <laughs> you know, I was serious about what I said before about finding someone who deserves you. Don't wait to give me a chance just because I said I. Hey, didn't we just get done with talking about things in the past? I wonder how long this is going to last. <sighs> Zoe? Alright, that should do it. I was just saying, Zoe, how long do you think that's going to last? It should last for a month or so. After that, I'll either have to reinforce it with another potent spell, or break it down and recreate a new one. As long as no one gives Sasha the means to create a counter spell, then it should be perfectly stable. Mm. Should I... should I have gathered more glow flowers for you just in case? No. The glow flowers don't last long unless you have someone who's experienced in taking care of those kinds of delicate flowers. Unfortunately, I'm not an expert botanist or a nature magics user, so their magic potency only lasts for a few hours in my hands. We'll just have to go looking for another forest fairy and repeat the process before the spell lets up. Hmm. I see. Um... Zoe, thank you so much for this. Hmm? There's no need to thank me. I'm just doing my part to protect Phoenix Drop. Even if it is, not as much. What? Zoe! It's more than enough! Thanks, Afmao. I still feel bad I had to send you out on your own to get those flowers. Understand that once you start mixing a potion, it's important not to stop or leave it unattended. Or something like what happened to Malachi all those years ago. I mean, 
What happened to him was a blessing in disguise, but still, it could have been much worse. Anyway, I'll leave you and Lawrence alone for now. I know you both have to speak with Sasha. Know that she cannot leave any part of the building. No open space, no doors, no windows. She can't even dig her way out if she wanted to. I mean, she can, but she'll be held up by an invisible barrier. Eh, sorry, I'm rambling. I'll leave you to be now. Thank you so much, Zoe. Again, you've done more than enough. <sighs> okay, let's see. Uh, Lawrence, are you... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you over there? How are you feeling this morning? I'm okay. How was he? What? Garth, you saw him again last night, didn't you? Wait, uh, how did you know? Your body disappeared last night while you slept. You were watching me? We both sleep in a tree fort, so of course I noticed this. Remember, a good guard sleeps with one eye open, right? So, did he kiss you again? <laughs> no, we just talked about what's been going on. <laughs> He's getting more confident, it seems. That is... If it's the real Garth. I have no doubt it's him, though. The way you said he talked sounds like him. Man, you think if I got to visit him like that in the dream world, he'd be so happy he'd kiss me too? What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, Lawrence, but, um, you're not as hot as me. <laughs> not the response I was expecting, but of course I'm hot enough. Who wouldn't want to kiss this hunk of a guard? He kisses his hand. Wait, what? Garth wouldn't want to kiss you, apparently. I don't know, that's such a weird question. Hey, I can live without that happening. But at least you didn't say you... Maybe there's still a chance for me. <laughs> Lawrence. He gives you a warm smile. We need to head in and speak with Sasha now. I'll let you lead the way. Okay. Um... Yeah, I don't know why, I'm just a little... I just feel so weird with this. It doesn't even look like there's anything around it. That's the thing, it's so weird. Anyway... Um... <clears throat> Alrighty? Sasha... Are you ready for this, Lawrence? Good morning. I see you brought your lapdog with you. Lawrence... Hey. I'm not complaining about sitting on her lap. Lawrence! <laughs> oh, Lawrence, you've always been one to take a serious situation and put a smile on even your enemy's face. Only difference is, you're not our enemy here. What? I mean, is she, is she? Are you? Are you? Lawrence is correct. I am not your enemy. Now, let's get straight into business. What do you need me to tell you that I already haven't? Um... I want to know more about Xenix. Xenix? I don't know more about him than Lawrence. The only thing I know about Xenix is that he was a Shadow Knight long before he was found by his mentor. Garth, I believe? Either way, he's been a Shadow Knight long before or about the same time I became one. Other than that, he kept to himself. Um... For Dante, I want to know more about Jean, his brother. Jean has a brother in the overworld? I wasn't aware of this. Jean is considered to be a very close to me. However, we aren't as close to discuss those kinds of things about our lives prior to becoming Shadow Knights. Most Shadow Knights who reside in the Nether don't socialize on an emotional level, or else will become like this marshmallow over here. <laughs> Lawrence, I can kick your butt any day, Sasha. Want to fight? <laughs> Lawrence. No thanks, Lawrence. The difference between Shadow Knights in the Nether and Shadow Knights who are domesticated in the Overworld is that another Shadow Knight's power is much more focused. One in the Overworld has feelings and emotions for others, aside from themselves, that distracts from their full potential. Mm. Well then... <sighs> it's interesting to know, but now I want to know more about the Shadow Lord. I was wondering when you were going to get around to asking me about that. 
I know a surprising amount about the Shadow Lord than you would think, considering I've only been a Shadow Knight for a short period of time. Tell me, have you heard of the War of the Magi? Uh, n no, <laughs> I actually haven't. I would be sincerely shocked if you did know of it. It's a war that has been lost to time in the overworld. I'm pretty sure the books were burnt that talked about it, in order to prevent things like that from happening again. <laughs> Those fools, burning their only source of answers. Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> answers? Allow me to tell you about the Shadow Lord and the War of the Magi. More than 4,000 years ago, our Lord, the Shadow Lord, had arisen from the depths of the nether and found his way into the overworld, a place where he was once previously outcasted from by his fellow man. Now twisted and bent by the will of, the, of his hatred and cultivation of the nether, he had become an all-powerful being. Once in the overworld, he sought to rule over all. Of course, the mortal kings at the time were not to stand for such a threat and went to war with our Lord of Shadows and his army. The war continued for a century until they appeared. Uh, they? <laughs> Are you aware of the Divine Warriors? Shad the Destroyer, Esmond the Protector, Enki the Keeper, Irene the Matron, Menfia the Fury, and Kulzak the Keeper. Uh, uh, wait, there's one, two, three, what? I mean, yes, kind of, I know of them, but I had no idea there were six. Wow, of all information, I at least expected you to know something about them. Yes, there are six of the Divine Warriors in total. Each one is celebrated in various regions of the world. This region just happens to be the place where your Lady Irene lived and is worshipped. Each of the Divine Warriors is just as powerful, if not more powerful, than Lady Irene you call upon. How long ago exactly they have been around, I'm not sure. They lived in their own parts of the world and rarely interacted with each other. Just a little history lesson for you, since you're so dense on the subject. Continuing, those wretched humans were able to rise against the Shadow Lord, and with their powers combined, destroyed his physical form and sent his essence back into the nether from whence he came, as well as his armies. <laughs> but they were only humans. They were not so powerful enough to rid the realms of the Lord of Shadows forever. His pure essence embodies the realm of the Nether and grows ever stronger as his children, we, the Shadow Knights, continue to praise and give him strength. However, in the overworld, those humans came to be known as gods amongst men and were given the name the Divine Warriors. <laughs> what gods they are that they couldn't even finish off the Shadow Lord. Pathetic. In any case, even though the essence of the Shadow Lord embodies the Nether, those divine took some of his power and scattered it across the overworld. Not only that, but they managed to embody some into relics. Uh, I see. Um, relics such as the Cerberus Staff, the Red Talisman, the Moonlight Ward, the Wyvern Layer Sword, and a few others all contain remnants of the Shadow Lord. Hence, making them too great to keep in one piece. Uh, what does this have to do with anything that's going on? As a Shadow Knight, we seek to revive the Shadow Lord's physical form, so he can take his rightful place as ruler of this world. We take people we believe contain parts of his essence and bring them to the Nether for him to absorb. We also seek out those relics that contain power that rightfully does not belong to them. However... Xenix, I fear, might be trying to revive the Shadow Lord himself. If he is indeed this mad and indeed this crazy to attempt this, the Shadow Lord will have a physical form, but with the combined mind of Xenix. He cannot do this alone and taint the work we have done all these years! <sighs> Calm down, Sasha. No! You don't understand the pain I went through to obtain this body back and now I have it all ruined by some child who thinks he knows what it's like to suffer this much. How dare he try to corrupt the mind of our Lord of Shadows with his. He is not worthy and he will pay by my hands. I want him gone. I want him dead. Uh, uh, I, I, I didn't mean to. I just, 
I tried to put her in the soul stone and she didn't want to... And... Uh, she was also just... I'm glad you did that. I was about to. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. It's just... No. It's alright. Trust me. Had you allowed her to continue, she would have caused the Shadow Souls lurking outside the walls to become more powerful. Shadow Knights have the uncanny ability to increase the strength of evil things around them when angry. Hence why I have to keep my cool, even if I am upset at times. It's taught me to be not so much of a hothead. I still feel bad. I just wanted to put her in the soul crystal, but I guess she didn't want it to go in. Mm. Uh, what do we do now, Lawrence? Well, we got the information we need. If it's true that books have been burned containing information on the Shadow Lord and this War of the Magi, then we have to go to the bigger cities in the region to see if we can find any remains of anything that can help us. I see. That makes sense, because they're more likely to keep records and relics of things that they might otherwise burn. I'm not ex- I get it. You know what? Let's... Let's go to Scaleswind. Scaleswind it is, then. We need to repair a boat or something to get there, or at least a few horses. Let's go speak with Levin and Malachi, and inform Caitlin- Emmeline and Kenmer of our decision. What about Sasha? Leave the cell open. She can't, she can't leave here and she needs to understand that while we don't want her to do anything bad, we also don't want her to keep her confined in this tiny cell. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, but can we at least send something for her? Like a nice meal or just something to make her feel welcomed here? I mean, I know that what she is and but I still feel bad especially since I kind of hit her over the head with that stone on accident <laughs> that's very kind of you come let's head back to the safe hold all right <sighs> Lawrence stop it leave it open <sighs>